Okay, we are going to be learning about different shapes, 2D and 3D shapes. Um, and so let's first put our name on our paper. And just follow along with me. And if I go too fast, then you can pause it and catch up and then hit play again. So the first 2D shape that we're going to talk about today is a circle. A circle has zero sides and it has zero corners. And a circle, since this is a 2D shape, it is a flat object. So we're going to circle flat. Down here it says to color the circles. So you're gonna get a crayon and you are going to color all of the circles. So I see a donut. Is a circle. A button is a circle. A clock is a circle. see any more circles? I see a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents and it is a small circle. Do you see any more? A plate is a circle. Pepperonis. Do you see any more circles? How about this wheel? And I like how you are doing quality work and you are coloring very nicely in the lines. We don't want scribbles. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles on our chart right here. And now we're going to come down just a tiny bit. And we're going to use our pencil and we're going to trace the circles. So we're going to start right here and we're going to go around and trace the circle. And we're going to trace the circle carefully. We're practicing drawing a circle because circles are kind of hard because you can't have any lumps. They have to be perfectly round. Now let's practice drawing it all on our own. So we're going to start right here. We're going to take our pencil and we're going to very carefully go around draw the perfect circle or close to it because it's kind of hard. Okay now we're going to come back up here and we're going to read the word circle. And as we read it, we're going to practice memorizing um, the word circle, how you spell it. C -er 
er is ir. Er, when i is followed by a c, it doesn't make the k sound, it makes the s sound. S er, k. See how it makes the k sound now? Because it's not followed by an e, i, or y. L, L E at the end of a word makes the ol sound. Circle is spelled C I R C L E. Circle. Now let's color our circle. And a circle has zero sides and zero corners. And this is a 2D shape. Now we're going to open up. We're going to talk about a 3D shape that is like a circle, but it's 3D. Okay. This is the 3D version of a circle. It's a sphere. Say sphere. We're going to write our name again. And we'll go ahead and we'll color the word sphere. And I'm going to use the same crayon that I used for the circle. A sphere is spelled S P H E R E Sphere And a sphere is a 3D shape. So it is solid. So we're going to circle solid for this 3D shape sphere. And a sphere, when we do this, we're going to, I'm gonna add some lines like this to make it so that we know that it is a solid shape. It's round, it's not flat. And then I'm going to kind of color in that sphere. I made the lines darker and then I'm just shading in the sphere. And now we're going to talk about um, the language that we use for 3D shapes. For 3D shapes, we no longer use the word sides or corners. For 3D shapes, we use faces, edges, and vertices. Okay, and so faces are flat on um, flat sides on 3D shapes. Edges are um, the like the line between the two points, the vertices. So on a sphere, a sphere has zero faces, zero flat um, flat pieces on it. It has zero edges and it has zero vertices. So it's kind of like a circle. It has zero of everything. Now let's um, talk about this right here. Does it roll? A sphere does roll. It's like a ball. So yes, it does. So we're going to put a little check mark there because it does do that. Does it stack? No, we cannot stack a sphere on top of each other because they would just topple over. So I'm just going to leave that blank. And does it slide? No, it does not slide. The only thing a sphere does is it rolls. Now we're going to color all the spheres. So a sphere could be a baseball.
A sphere could be a globe. Do you see any more spheres? A sphere could be a tomato. Do you see any more? I see one more. A sphere could be yarn. All right, good job finding all those spheres. Now we're gonna bring our paper down a little bit and we are going to trace the spheres. And we're gonna start right here and we're gonna go around. And then I like to add those lines to show that it's not solid. It's 3D. So we can hold it in our hand. Just like that. And then we're gonna draw it on our own. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna go around and draw a circle. And then I'm gonna add those lines to show that it is 3D. So we learned two different shapes today. We learned the sphere, the 3D shape. It has zero faces, zero edges, zero vertices. And we learned the circle. The circle is a 2D shape. It is flat and it has zero sides and zero corners. Thank you for working with me today.